like uh, you did enough now to, to get off the prelims? Uh, yeah, man, should have been off the prelims a long time ago, I feel like. You know, I'm a, I'm a main card talent, so, uh, yeah, to answer your question, yes. Do, I mean, what do you feel like it's going to take? Do you, you seem like you're kind of going a little harder for submission finishes, looking for that guillotine at the top. Do you feel like finishing fights is, is what it needs to be, and just more exciting performances, or what? Yeah, absolutely. I like to finish people. Um, everybody likes to finish people. Get in, get out. But he was tough, man, so, you know, this is UFC, everybody's tough. And you know, sometimes you can't finish. Is that an intentional thing on your part? Like a lot of guys seem to try to establish dominant positions and then rain down blows. You seem to look more for submission. Um, you know, it's, it's it's more fun for me to have the guy like opt out instead of you know forcing him out. So it's kind of like a big brother thing, you know, to me. <laughs> you have the back-to-back -back wins now. How is that momentum feeling for you as you prepare to take on another opponent coming up? Uh, it's feeling good, but. You know, like I said, after the last one, I'll be done. I'll forget about this one in a couple days and be ready to go. You know, I'll be back in the gym. I got a couple guys fighting for my gym, so I'll be back in less than a week, I'm sure. Even though you were on the prelims, you're certainly part of the big 20th anniversary show. I'm just curious your thoughts on being a part of that and if there is somebody or a certain show here that you remember watching, you know, as a fighter before you were in the UFC that kind of inspired you? Oh, man. Um, a lot of people say the first show that they watch was, you know, from Hoist Gracie. First show that I actually watched was uh, a Pride show, Mirko Krokrop versus uh, Randleman too. So, and I, I looked up to Randleman for years in high school wrestling. You know, we used to watch his highlight videos in high school from Ohio State. So, that's probably the thing that you know inspired me to get into MMA was was that that fight. We heard some people say, or saw you know, some people saying on Twitter that how you know you were one of the guys who got screwed the most by the strike force situation. Do you feel now a part of the the UFC family? Do you, do you feel like you're you're welcome? You belong here? Definitely, man. They this th my third fight this year, and and just the second half of the year. So I'm, I'm you know eternally grateful for being busy. I like fighting. You know I don't like sitting on the sidelines. And the thing with Strike Force is they cut down the shows and they had a big roster. So it was just a, a backlog type thing. It's nothing against the execs at Strike Force. They just had a you know a, a backup problem. So yeah, I'm definitely happy to be here. Happy to be busy and, and fighting on a regular basis. You've got a couple of teammates here, like you said, fighting tonight. Robbie Lawler's coming up. How has that move um, for you been at AT and T training over there? AT and T. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've said it before too. Yeah. I um. Uh, you know, yeah, they they definitely been taking care of my phone service over there. It's great. You know? So, no, but yeah, American Top Team. Uh, it's been great there. I've been there for about two years now, and uh, it's awesome. I got nothing but good things to say about everybody in American Top Team. So, you know, honestly, standing here looking at you from this side, it doesn't even look like you're in a fight tonight, and you just barely have a little. So yeah, I put my hat on. Cause was, I was gonna ask a little bit, but you know, I try to stay out clean. I got a little girl, you know, I can't be coming back all effed up to. to my daughter, you know, so she's in that stage where she's asking questions. So I, I like, to, you know, Jason, keep my face clean. Yesterday at the weigh-ins, and then even today, like, it looked like you had something personal against the uh, the recipe. Was there any Twitter beef, or you just didn't like? like no, that? nothing, man, like that. But you know, I just want to let them know that we ain't friends. You know, like before we went out, he's like talking to me, he's trying to slap hands and stuff, and I'm not cool with that. Like we're about to fight, we're not friends until you know. Now I'm like we're cool now, but. I just want to let them know that we are not buddies, you know. You feel like you got that message across? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not what I'm going for, but, you know, it's part of the game, you know. It's a fighting sport, and it can be pretty personal, you know, so I don't want anybody beating me up. So that's, when, when, it, when you boil it down, that's what it is. Just don't, don't go out there and get beat up, you know. So just wanted to let them know that there's, I have no regard for you, you know. So. Thanks. Congrats.